Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to make a communication site available in different languages. This is a very useful SharePoint feature when you have people who speak different languages in your organization. It helps to make your communication sites to become more useful and meaningful to the entire organization. Here is how you can use the SharePoint multilingual feature. This is one of my communication sites. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to use the multilingual feature in SharePoint in this uh, communication sites. So first let's uh, enable this feature uh, to use it for this site. For that, click on the settings icon from the top and choose site information and click on view all site settings. From the settings page, site settings page, uh, go to the site administration section and click on language settings. Here, you need to enable pages and news to be translated into multiple languages option. This is turned off by default, so you need to click on this toggle on and make it uh, turned on. So English is the default language. You need to pick uh, whatever languages you need uh, through the drop down here. Let me choose uh, French now. So uh, the French language is added here now. So you, you can also add a translator here so that he or she can translate the pages you are requesting. So I'm choosing Nidin to translate uh, any of the pages to French version. So uh, once this is set, you can click on save. Uh, you can also choose more languages through this option if you prefer, if you need more version, more language versions of, a, of the same page. So I just need French now, so I'm only choosing French for now. There's also a show advanced settings option here. So uh, after making all your changes, you can click on save. Once this is done, the multilingual feature will be enabled for your uh, communication site. Let's just uh, go back to our uh, home page and see if the uh, option is enabled. So as you can see, uh, there is a translation option added in the menu. You can use this translation option to request for a translation of a particular page and get that done. Uh, another change you will see once the option is enabled is the drop down here. As of now, English is the default language available. So once you have created a French version for this page, French will also be seen here. So uh, let me just show you uh, by uh, translating one of my latest uh, news posts here. So this is a page created for uh, creating climate change awareness among, among our employees. So I'm going to translate this page into French or I'm going to create a French version for this page. For that, just click on translation and then under the French option, click on create. So a new draft page will be created automatically, which is the French version. Uh, you can click on view to view the page. So this is the uh, French version, supposed to be French version. So what happened now is the user you have assigned as a translator for the French version will get a notification through email uh, asking to uh, translate all these page content into a uh, French page or French content. So let me show you how, how the em how that email looks. So this is how uh, the translation request looks like. So it says the French translation requested for climate change awareness. Uh, and uh, um, uh, here's a link to the page, the to the English version of the page, the original version and also uh, who requested that the translation is here. And there's also a link to the translating page that takes to the translating page. So the one the, once the translator is ready, he can click on this start translating button 
and he will be taken to the uh, friend version of the page from here uh, the translator can uh, update the changes so i will click i'm just quickly update the french content to make this uh, french version made available uh, quickly so i have already uh, translated uh, the content using google uh, translator so i'll just quickly update it so first you need to uh, take the page to the edit mode and then change the title and also the content below with the french version so once this is done you can actually complete the process and can make the french version translation of the page uh, available so uh, this is how it can be done so uh, I'm, i have completed the updating process and i'm going to uh, make this page live or post this content let me just take you to the home page first and let's go back to the news post page freshly so this is the um, default page which is the english version so we have now created the french version or translated the default page into and created a french version for this page so let's check the drop down here so here we now have a french option too so i'm choosing french here so uh, as you can see the title all the content in this page is now displayed in french uh, i'm not sure about how i create this the french uh, content here is as i have used the google translator but this is how it works let's now uh, update some of the uh, other uh, factors like uh, the site name uh, the menu options the photo options uh, all these option options can also be translated so uh, let's go to the site information page click on site information and as you can see the site name here is uh, shown as english by default so you can click on translate site name and you can give a french uh, give the french uh, content for this site name mm, i have already saved it here so the french version of the site name is this and enter this uh, translation and click ok you can also uh, provide a french version for the site description too so the site description is here i'll just quickly update it too enter the description and click on ok so the site description is also uh, we have updated it french version click on save once you are done you can also make changes uh, to the menu option similarly click on edit uh, next to the options click on the ellipsis and choose edit and similarly you can uh, update the display name of the uh, options as required i'm not making changes now but i'm just showing the options if you prefer you can make these changes too similarly you can make changes to the footer too uh, as i haven't uh, added any options here there won't be any options but the process is click on the edit option here and you can enter the details here and click on translation to update the french version or the uh, language version you prefer so that's how you can create uh, different language version for the site content or news posts you have so that's very easy process and it's very helpful and it makes a lot of sense so hope you got a clear understanding about how you can make uh, different language versions of your sharepoint communication sites pages and news posts for more details, follow our blog post in the same topic. I will leave a link to the post in the description. Try these features and let me know if you have any queries in the comment section. Have a good day.